Well, for more on President Xi's visit to Switzerland, I spoke with Yu Jia. She's a senior research fellow at the London School of Economics Ideas Think Tank. I began by asking her about the significance of Switzerland being the first country the president visits this year. I think there's a couple of reasons why Switzerland has been chosen as the first place and Xi Jinping would like to visit in 2017. Firstly, Switzerland is, Switzerland is the country which has established a diplomatic relation with China back to 1950. And then obviously, historically, that's a very important for China. And secondly, and obviously, this also converged with a time with the Davos World Economic Forum uh, holding at, at the same time. And it's something Xi Jinping was trying to make a his, historical visit in that case, and try to make case as if China is the responsible lead, a global leader in the current, under the current crisis of um, both Donald Trump victory as well as a Brexit. And, Lastly, but also equally important, China trying to play a much bigger role, a bigger leadership in the uh, international organizations. And obviously, Switzerland has been the place to hosting so many international organizations. And China tried to put forward its own case for that. So there are three key reasons why Xi Jinping has decided to chosen Switzerland as the first trip of 2017. And what about expectations for the visit? What are we expecting to see both Switzerland and China get out of this visit? Well, I think the um, expectation of running extremely high in this case. And obviously, Switzerland and China already signed up bilateral trade, a free trade agreement with each other back to 2013. So obviously, the both sides would like to continue this uh, partnership and also Within specifically China Switzerland relationships, there's a sense of innovation or innovative partnership has been involved in, which is rather unique compared with any other European countries. And obviously, both sides want to get out of this uniquenesses for this as well. Um, so that's the that's why uh, both Switzerland and China are very much look forward on this visit. And you mentioned bilateral relations. And how would you say that sure. those relations have developed over the last over the last decade or so? They developed rather rapidly compared with many other European countries because don't forget, Switzerland is a rather small country relatively compared with France or Germany. But however, somehow it managed to um, secure a l much longer, a more stable relationship with China. So this is something what Xi Jinping really like to see. What is something the current leadership of Switzerland also like to see, and also partially because. Switzerland is a, a role model for China, what China aspires to be, uh, to be um, in this, in the, transfer itself from the industrial economy to a service-oriented economy, firstly. And then secondly, that sense of technological innovation, China is looking, uh, looking forward to collaborate together with the Switzerland. And as you see China um, going into this transition, what are some of the new trends or perhaps new industries that they're collaborating with uh, when it comes to Switzerland? Well, I wouldn't say it's new industry. I think the ex collaboration has already taken place in all of the industries and probably uh, would perhaps see a deeper collaboration on the financial services, on the agriculture sector, as well as on the um, high tech, so pharmaceutical sector. And just lastly, in President Xi's remarks to business executives in Bern, Switzerland, he warned against protectionism and populism. How important is this as all these world leaders prepare to gather at the World Economic Forum? Well, I think this is a very crucial, crucial message Xi Jinping sent it to the rest of the world, because don't forget, Switzerland is the first country within the European Union to admit China as a full market economy and also sign up the free bilateral free trade agreement with China. So this is a rather significant and therefore Xi Jinping would like to use this as a showcase for how much China can do to the world to stabilizing the global economy. And also secondly, regarding um, on the sense of um, globalization and against the populism. It is something uh, China would like to take further its own leadership for that.